Number 1. Will Dare. In the cluster of craziness that's become the new Lower East Side, a few spots rise above the noise. One, in particular, is Will Dare, the laid-back sister restaurant of neighboring Contra. Helmed by two of the most exciting chefs in NYC, Will Dare is mostly a wine bar, albeit one that serves really, really good food and unique, never-before-tasted pours. Most everything is made in-house, including the freshly baked bread that's served with salted olive oil. Number 2. 11 Madison Park. 11 Madison Park recently underwent a major renovation, which still kept the building's original Art Deco details and expanded the bar to accommodate more regulars. On the food front, acclaimed chef, Daniel Hum, continues to shine and delight. While the menu changes frequently, guests can expect innovative food, but without the pomp and pretension that's rampant amongst fine dining restaurants in the city. Number 3. Sushi Yasuda. Upon entering Sushi Yasuda, one is immediately aware of the absence of art, decorations, or anything that might attract the eye. It is minimalist to the extreme with bamboo plank walls and open spaces. This simplicity is reflected in Chef Naomi Chi Yasuda's cuisine as well. The fillets of fish are custom cut for each order, as pre-cut fish begins to break down almost immediately, losing some of its delicate textures and flavors. Number 4. Jean Georges. Celebrity chef Jean Georges von Drichten has a culinary empire that spans the globe, but his eponymous restaurant connected to the Upper West Side's Trump Hotel remains a gold standard for the chef's subtly Asian inflected, French haute cuisine. His now legendary tuna tartare and young garlic soup remain enormously popular with Harry Winston wearing hotel guests, well dressed ladies who lunch, and top tier executives from the neighboring high rise offices. Number 5. Cosme. Helmed by executive chef, Daniela Sotowinis, an under 30 year old force to be reckoned with, Enrique Olvera's Cosme burst onto the scene, leaving New Yorkers clamoring for a seat. Olvera's Chef's Table episode featuring his Mexico City joint, Pugil, certainly didn't hurt his appeal, but the food at Cosme has proven to stand on its own. Take the duck carnitas, for example. Salted and hung for three days before being roasted, and then slow-cooked overnight in duck fat and Mexican coke, these aren't your typical tacos. Number 6. Gramercy Tavern. One of New York's most recognized restaurants, Gramercy Tavern is an old standby that functions as a delicious utility knife. You can dress it up or dress it down, visit on a random weekday, or save it for a special occasion, and it will mold itself to your exact state of mind. The New York Times' Pete Wells awarded Gramercy Tavern three stars in 2016, nearly 22 years after it first opened. Why? For one, things here simply work. You know the service is going to be on par, and the food irresistible. Number 7. Keen's Steakhouse. Unless it's freakishly low, or ridiculously lofty, a restaurant's ceiling probably isn't the first thing that draws your attention. At Keen's, it'll be all you can look at that is until they bring your meal. Keen's Steakhouse established in 1885 is one of New York's oldest and most revered eateries. It also happens to have the largest collection of churchwarden pipes in the world literally hanging from its rafters. Number 8. Claro. Claro is one of the hottest and most exciting restaurants to open in New York in recent memory, which makes it perfect for impressing that certain someone. In 2018, they were awarded a Michelin star for their take on Oaxican cuisine mixed with a refinement that's all NYC. The corn for Claro's menu comes from farms that handpick the non-GMO heirloom varieties, and the restaurant makes everything by hand, including the masa, cheeses and moles. Number 9. Le Bernardin. There's something to be said for staying power, and Le Bernardin certainly delivers. Celebrity chef Eric Reipert has created a New York space that's romantic, refined and seductive, while still managing to infuse his French-Spanish influence into every corner. Le Bernardin, regarded by many as the best restaurant in NYC, has received more James Beard awards than any other restaurant in the city and holds four New York Times stars, in addition to three Michelin stars. The food, as you might imagine, is impeccable. Number 10. 
Lilia Ristorante. Ever since Missy Robbins opened, restaurant reviewers have been raving that finally, she's finally cooking pasta again. Born into a family of hosts, travelers and cooks, Missy Robbins brings the best of Italy to Williamsburg where wood-fired seafood, handcrafted pasta, classic Italian cocktails and warm hospitality come together to create a casual dining experience. Robbins says she found her Italian soul in her five years as executive chef at Spiaggia in Chicago. I hope you found some of these top 10 places interesting and have time to see some of them during your next trip. Don't forget to tell us about the places you visit in comment section. Do like our video and also share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos like this.